Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That felt like a show to me. That was very show-like. Yeah. I thought it was a good show. You know how fast time goes? I'll tell you how fast. I feel like you were just here, and that was two weeks ago. I know. That was two weeks ago. I feel like I was just there. That's really weird. You were just there. Two weeks ago? (laughs) Yeah, two weeks ago. We can hear ourselves back, Roger, if there's any way to put the headphones on. Typity, typity, typity. We got any uh, Showbot headlines that we like? Mark of Paranoia Zuckerberg, perhaps? <laughs> we the E people. I wish Mark's name Mark, Mark, Mark's name was Mark with a C. That would make it more of a fun pun. Yeah. Just like Mark, Par- Mark of Paranoia would have been good. What about if it's uh, I, Robot, You, Human... V screwed. <laughs> What's the V, though? I think it's supposed to be like we. Oh, uh, V all screwed. Because it's an Austrian manufacturer of robots. Or... Oh, because it's German. <laughs> Hashtag robo rights. <laughs> we need some votes. We need some votes, Showbot, if you're watching live. Showbot.tv. Because there's too many good ones in here. It's a bot make bot world. That's the, that's your turtles all the way down thing. <laughs> Google's five laws of robotics. E people, Mark of Paranoia, Zuckerberg. Declaration of AI dependence. <laughs> Take me to the Tesla city where the batteries are pretty. <laughs> I want to hear someone record that. Yeah. Do it like... Uh, Take me down to the yeah, Tesla city. Robot textonophobia. It's a hard one to read. I think We the E people is winning. It seems to be. Seven up there. I kind of like that. Hits straight on into the the middle. Well done, Ken from Chicago. Getting all the votes. Buddy. Well done. Like a overcooked steak. Actually, he's got two in the top ten. Three in the top ten. It's... We're going to Casey Kasem him? <laughs> uh, I'm Casey Kasem. C-Spin, Musk on Musk. Robot America, Civil... No. We're going We the E people. E people? We the E people. We the E people. In order to Sounds like a song. Rights in the no, no, it should be We the E people in order to form a more perfect Voltron. See? Because the robots. I was going for a, a European Union thing. Oh. Because <laughs> then that fits the rhyme scheme. That's a good point. Man, I love those old cartoons. What, Voltron? Have you watched the Netflix one yet? Yes, it's yeah. so good. You like I, it? Bored it's, by the it, first one. I really thought it was love it. I thought it's really just it's not very interesting at all. I found myself maybe maybe it's through. just tweaking all my nostalgia bones or something. But it definitely tweaks my nostalgia bones. I knew who Hunk was as soon as he came on screen. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah this is exactly the same. But Hunk like is, the stories are pretty dull. Oh They're yeah, it's, it's pretty dull. standard. I mean, there's nothing crazy happening story wise, but. But I, I would know. say, like, in terms of cartoon reboots, the best one I've seen so far is the reboot of the Thundercats. Because yeah, that is a very interesting story. That was good. It didn't last long. It was long. a good story. I mean, well, actually, that and the uh, reboot of uh, Masters of the Universe, He-Man. Yeah, that that was, was those were well-written stories. I mean, those were very interesting. Like, it, it went beyond just a nostalgia. It was like, hey, we can actually take these characters in new directions, but also we can, like, tell stories we wanted to tell as kids like what if blah 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 happened and the whole thing with the snake men was awesome yeah I agree that stuff was alright I really liked Young Justice as well there's been some really good stuff you know why they cancelled Young Justice right because they're lame and they're stupid and I hate them because they couldn't sell enough toys oh that makes oh, sense. I thought it was because they're lame and they're stupid and Scott hates them <laughs> I thought that was in their press release they I couldn't was, sell I enough toys that, so it. that show is real cool I loved I, it I thought, I thought it was, it was great, great. It's got Rise Darby in it. It's got freaking Jay's, or Stephen Yoon from Walking Dead and um, also, what's his name? Uh, 
What's his name? He's uh, so awesome. Yeah, so oh. huge. Also from Walking Dead, plays Daryl. I can't think of his name. Oh, uh, Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus is in it. This Voltron's cool, man. It's a bunch of tigers that all or lions. Lions, me. lions. Lions, sorry. That all come together, and make a giant robot. Let's. They had me at that. I will say that if they when they issue a toy, I'll probably buy it. Yeah. That's also, I, I keep hearing that the story has real interesting twists as it goes. So maybe that story part gets better. Yeah, I need to I need to keep giving it a few more chances cuz also the 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 pilot is twice to three times as long as the normal episode. That's true. Yeah. It did About strike pilot, the long. It was a little long, but they you know, they had to establish the whole let's go get our lions. Lions and Classical make sure we match lions. our personality. Lion. Let's make sure Chunk or whatever his name is barfs three times. And... Yeah, yeah. There's some there's some good dialogue. It's got good quippy dialogue. I like it. Yeah, it's got Murray in it going band meeting, band meeting. You know, he's my least favorite aspect of that show. <laughs> that's show? all I see his face. I don't see the cartoon. Oh, I, I see. see his face when it. I love up. it. I was so excited to hear he was in it. Because I have a thing. I have a. I'm a sucker for anything he does. <laughs> they have a I loved him in he's that. A funny, movie. funny man. Funny, funny stuff. Fine meeting? I, I think I'm just going to make all of my cultural illusions from now on be circa the 70s. All right. Battle all right. of the Network Stars. Bionic Man. Carson Imitations. Bionic Man. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Sounds great. Sign me um, up for your, your dystopic future. <laughs> chips. I just chips. need to watch a lot of the Dean Martin roasts. Oh, those are great. Those still are great. If you find them on YouTube... Like, the jokes are still pretty funny. Yeah, Sorry. Ellie likes them too. I mean, they're they're pretty off-color jokes, but man. Well, they're, they're weird, right? Because they're not too off-color, or they wouldn't have been allowed on broadcast television, but they're off-color in the sense that we as a society have, have moved, moved past on. being in good taste. They're clean and off color at the same time. It's weird. The the best one of those is still uh, Johnny Carson's uh, Karnak, mm. the uh, his skit on the Tonight Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always good. This audience would laugh at dinosaur backing into a meat into a meat thermometer. <laughs> 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 See, it's like they're great jokes. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? It was a pretty good bit. It was always fun. Even well, and those kind of jokes, like backing guy. into a meat thermometer at the time everyone would try to interpret it that in the innocent way. Whereas yeah. these days, we're all like, we know what he means by that. <laughs> yeah. It was always a little subversive, but it didn't. It wasn't apparent. It's, it was all the innuendo. And that's, and that's right. some of the brilliance of the jokes is that they walk that fine line because they don't literally say anything lewd. or Right, they or couldn't. Object. They couldn't get away with it. But, John Carson had his job because Jack Parr said water closet on The Tonight Show, for goodness sake. Um, yeah, and like so, everything's an illusion or innuendo, and so that's what makes us like. What makes it funny is like the cultural cons. Like, yeah, I know what he means. I forgot how much of a role that uh, uh, Ed McMahon played on that show too. Oh yeah, no, being he, a second fiddle. He had to laugh and be that guy, or else he was essentially a co-host. He was just shy of being a co-host. Yeah, and he. You know, the, the, he would drink enough before the show that it almost was its own co-host as well. <laughs> His drinks were also... Yeah. You know, well, Roger I, got to meet Ed McMahon. No yeah. way. I totally uh, fixed, or I totally showed him how to use a webcam. Oh, on his oh. That's cool. He is, at the time when he was still alive and I met him, he was one of the coolest... He's not a zombie Ed McMahon. You met a living Ed I was, <laughs> I was hoping you were on Star Shirt Search or something. Oh, I would, I would have been awesome. What would I do? I guess I could have done the junior dancing bit. Except I've never seen any guys on that. It was always girls. It was always girls. Yeah, they had their, they had their sexism in stone there. Um, I do remember they did one where they had, you know, they had rock bands on, and one of the bands they featured was a Japanese metal band, and they won. Like they had like these really kind of outrageous outfits, like uh, shoulder pads with spikes on it, like very Mad Maxy, or Mad Maxy. Was that Mad loudness? Max it was what? Was that loudness? Sounds like loudness. Maybe. Japanese um, But uh, 
Yeah, they won. It was great. The comics were really bad, though. I did not find any of the stand-up comedians they had funny. Well, then they, yeah, because Ed didn't want anyone to threaten him. Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> throwing shade from beyond the grave. I know, right? <laughs> uh, no, and the other one I always thought was weird was the spokesperson. Oh, I mean, I understood it, the spokesmodel. Like, oh, you have to wear an evening dress, a swimsuit, and then you have to... Say something? I forgot. Oh, I forgot how it went. Say something? <laughs> yeah, like they have... It was, a complete sentence. It was that basically, was a way for them to do a beauty contest without calling it a beauty contest, right? Yeah. Well, it was a way for them to insert a beauty contest for the yeah. eye candy. Like, Spons- really, who would stick around to watch a bunch of kids jump around dancing? You should do a competition for Frog Pants Spokesmodel. I'm getting on it. Roger, are you interested? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Spokes Frog. Spokes frog. I'll wear, uh, I'll wear a singlet. I'm trying. Oh, gosh. <laughs> if you're our spokes frog, we'll turn you into a prince. Yes. Oh, hey, have you seen the uh, Brett and Reed? You know who Brett and Reed are. Those are two guys that do those really funny commercials on a budget, local commercials. That was Brett and Reed. Isn't that Rhett and Link? Rhett and Link. Did I oh, say Rhett and Link? Link. Yeah. yeah, Rhett and Link. I was like, I don't know Brett and Reed. I do know Rhett and Link. Sorry, I meant Rhett. Oh, this is a Brett and Reed. Uh, is uh, <laughs> I know Brett and Woods, and I know Rhett and Link. They did one for the uh, Salt Lake's uh, Salt Lake City uh, Community College Be- Beauty School. They did. Have you seen that one? Yeah, we played it on TV. Yeah, it two dollars for a haircut. Such a way. I know. The thing is, I've actually been in that salon or whatever you want to call it, the college school thing. Uh-huh. And I would never ever freaking get my haircut there. Ever. Really? Yeah, it's like. Mm, how do I put this? It's it's all students. Right. That's the whole point. I know, which I understand. And this is how they learn and they cut hair and stuff. But I've, I've never seen anybody sitting there getting up to leave or that I've heard that went there that ended up with like a haircut that wasn't kind of a nightmare. So I don't know what that is. I never tried it, so I can't say for sure. But It's only $2. It's, it's only, only 2 bucks. Yeah, you get what you <laughs> pay for. <laughs> You know what? If you get twenty dollars worth of haircuts there, eventually they'll get it right. Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> You'll eventually hit somebody that's gonna graduate. Yeah. Although now they have a massage school there that's real good. They're cheap and they they're good masseuse people. Here's the thing: there was a point in my life where I cut my own hair mm-hmm. uh, because I was that broke, and uh, Roger knew me at that point. Uh, I would have. For, if I could have found a place for two dollars, you'd do it. Of course you would. Yeah. I would have, yeah. I have a I have a record you don't know about. You want to know my record? And that maybe you'll look at me now and think, oh well, that's obvious now, Scott. Now that you say it, but I have never paid for a single haircut in my entire life. Oh, because you've always had friends, family that were I've able always to had my mom money. do it. So when I was growing up, my mom was yeah. always doing people's hair, mine included. She did okay. it. Kids, neighbor kids, everybody else. And then, uh, in college, had a friend who did it. And then um, my mom still, because I was in town. And then when I met Kim and we started dating, from dating all the way through our entire marriage, she's cut it. Huh. So I've yet to ever pay for a single haircut. And I don't think... I have okay hair. It's fine. Yeah. You're for, yeah I would have never been like, oh, you can tell. <laughs> but now it just feels like this challenge where I can't... I can never pay for a haircut now, ever. Mm-hmm. And it's not that I'm cheap. It's fine. I'd love, you know, whatever. I'm sure they do a great job, but I just... I'm going to get you drunk and get you take you to a barber. <laughs> Break two streaks at once. Find a bar with a barber and... Uh, oh, you can't spell twice. barber without a bar. There you go. All Before right, well, that is... Before high, my dad used to cut my hair, and he would, he would sit me in the middle of the kitchen on a small chair, and he would cut a newspaper with a hole in the middle, wrap, brought, stuffed it around my head, so it would be like a little... Uh, uh, what do they call it? You know, thing to cover you. And he a would bowl. spend a bowl. I wish he would spend an hour and give me like the worst haircut. At least it was symmetrically bad on both sides. I would but get uh, buzz cuts. My dad would, you know, just take the clippers out. Those are pretty easy though. That was only in the summer. All right. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with Justin Robert Young.